Hi everyone, I am Hanne Brøtter from hannesidea.com where we take good care of your branding. I am here today with Shailia Stevens and Sandra Heim to ask them some questions about a logo that I have created for them. So my dears, uh, would you like to say hello and <laughs> um, introduce yourselves? Yeah, Sandra, would you like to start? Okay, so I'm Sandra, as you said. I'm a coach for mompreneurs. I help mothers to build up their own business so that they have uh, free time for their kids, um, do what they love and earn their own money with that. And I'm doing the program called Beyond Together with Shelia. Okay, thank you. And Shelia. Yeah. Hi, everyone. My name is Shelia Stevens. Um, I'm the virtual coach from ShelliaStevens.com. I'm an American living and working in abroad in Germany since whew, 21 years now, since 1995. Um, I work with German speaking experts and solopreneurs, um, and I help them to position themselves successfully in the marketplace, to win new clients, and to make a business out of their expertise. And I also work together with Sandra, um, <laughs> a common program that we started uh, called Beyond, um, for which uh, Hannah made the, the branding. Yes, and I was going to ask you about that because uh, last November the two of you launched this program that you have mentioned, uh, it's called Beyond, and what is that? Can you tell us uh, something more about that? Hmm? Shalia, you go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so, we... We are working as coaches, um, Sandra and I, we work a lot with our one-on-one -on -one clients on the subject of marketing, how to be seen in the marketplace, um, how to attract clients. And what we, what we found along the way is that one really key component to being a business owner um, to uh, cre creating a business where you feel freedom and creativity and joy is a lot about the mindset and how you feel on the inside. And it's all about trying to find a space where you can um, feel an effortless success, like you're not always in this um, striving modus, but really what we want people to be in thriving modus mm -hmm. and in their businesses yeah. and in their lives. Mm -hmm. so Beyond is all about effortless success. It's all about creating a strong mindset for effortless success. We also talk a lot about, about creating a business that's generated from the inside and projected onto the outside, not, not based on uh, what other people are saying or results on the outside of you, but, but really seeing like that we create our own reality. And however that is in any moment, every, every time we're feeling any certain ways, 100% generated by a thought in the moment. Hmm. And so we, we talk about a, a lot about that in the course as well. Hmm. Awesome. Great. Um, Sandra, do you have anything to add to that, this long speech? <laughs> <laughs> no, Shalia put it into beautiful words. And she usually there's does. nothing more to add. <laughs> uh, so you needed a logo for this uh, program. And uh, what uh, did you want the logo to communicate exactly? Well, um, first of all, our challenge was to combine our two brandings, you know, the colors, uh, the way we put up our websites. So we needed a logo that somehow um, could be um, in heart, could go along in harmony with my branding and also with Shalia's branding. Mm. And that, that would have a, an, um, how do you say it in um, Wiedererkennungswerk, Shelia, in English? Yeah, it could be recognizable yeah. that it's belonging yes. to both yes. of us, even though it's created to oh. together. Oh. Yeah. 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 Oh. That, that was one thing that was very important to us. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that we wanted to convey is um, something that um, could stand for moving beyond, you know, a logo mm -hmm. that somehow transports this message mm -hmm. through its look, through its colors, uh, and gives a certain feel. Yeah. Yes. Shailia? Yeah. So, so what Sandra said is correct. <laughs> oh, <poof. laughs> no, and, and also, you know, like, so what beyond, what beyond means to us, what we're always doing is we're looking at the way people think about something in their business. Like we, like last month we were, or this month we're looking at that. what does it mean as an entrepreneur, a solopreneur, a mompreneur to leave your comfort zone? When does it make sense? When does it not make sense? And mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and you have a lot of people out there in the market saying comfort zone means this, and this is what you should do about it. And what we do with Beyond is we, we look beyond that concept of what's already there. And we say, really? Is that true? Is that how you want to see a comfort zone? Is that what it means to you? And so the, the, the visual representation should also be reflecting that, like always taking a known concept or a paradigm and shifting it beyond to a totally different level. Um, so that, that's what we were looking for. So like the using of the, of the rays and the horizon that were better in the logo, maybe you can show it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So that, that, that's like this, why this horizon is really good. So, cause you're going into the distance, looking beyond what's already here in front of you to uh, like further beyond and getting distance from where you're standing. Sandra talks a lot about that gaining distance to, mm -hmm. to what's going on. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and what, what I love here is, you know, it's the colors, they have a softness and a brightness. And this is also where we want to go, you know, where we shine bright, where we bring out into the world what we're supposed to bring out into the world. And, you know, where all those distracting thoughts, where we can put them aside and, and really um, be that, you know. Yeah. So it's a, it's, it's a foreign country within ourselves and a foreign country that we want to move to. And this is resembled through the world. Oh, great. That's great. <laughs> And so you have already mentioned this particular challenge that was with this logo that uh, it had to, you know, be a part of both your brands. Do you want to say something more about that, Saelia? Yeah, I mean, I can say a few words about that. So we had we had a bit of a challenge because um, Sandra, who's working with Mompreneur, she has a really kind of um, watercolory, uh, fanciful, um, creative kind of branding. Um, I think that really speaks to her Mompreneur Seal Group. That really is representative of who she is as a person, and mm -hmm. it's totally different than my branding because my branding is, you know, more like. Um, more stronger colors, um, more clear cut lines, um, also friendly and inviting and, and interestingly enough, a similar color palette that we, that we had when we started looking, but exactly really two different looks and feels. Mm. That was a big challenge. And also, um, you know, just some little stuff like, you know, I'm using oranges and turquoise or, or bluish and it's under as well, but they're totally different tones. Mm. Um, how to bring those together to a logo or in my case i'm working with some really specific you know that that sort of half of a circle um yeah. thing that we saw it's kind of a symbol that i use a lot in the, the different hierarchies of my branding that hannah did for me hannah did my whole branding from the mm -hmm. beginning <laughs> and so you know, and, and sandra has some more more ovals and um and some more her her font is more you know playful well, so trying to come to common ground and like how in the world are we going to merge those two things together <laughs> yeah. and uh, do you think that we made it <laughs> <laughs> yes of course because we're very happy and yeah. we're using it you know <laughs> so you know that during the process you felt that um uh, your Norwegian designer actually got this fact uh, that the logo should uh, show a visual belonging to both your brands. So we came, we came um, well out of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very and, much. And, and well, you know, I, the, the working with you for me seemed very effortless. You know, uh, we had some mails going back and forth, and Shelly and me, we were talking a bit very shortly about what we want to improve what what is already fine um what we want to change and then we gave you the feedback and you immediately took the feedback put it into action and presented us um the next round of ideas you know <laughs> yes. and, um, so it was a very quick uh, effortless process mm, that's great so you are satisfied now and well, tell me about uh, what your feelings are with this logo now. Uh, are you proud to have this logo? Yeah, yes. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Well, before we answer that question, I want to go back to the last one because I have I have this funny story because I've been working with Hannah for a long time and I, I would say Hannah's um, branding process is a two-step process, maybe three, maybe three. First, she, she gets to you know exactly what you want. You know, with she wants a good briefing, she really wants to understand before then you get the first set of drafts like lots of different sketches and ideas and things like she gives you a lot 
lot to choose from. And then it usually it just, you, you give her one input on one direction you're going and then boom, you already have the end result. So I'm going to call it a two-step process. It's kind of amazing. <laughs> so that, I, I really like that. And as far as the logo, um, I think we're super proud of it because, you know, we, what number one, we are the kind of people who we started the program with no branding. We just kind of threw some stuff together. We, we yes. got out there in the market. Mm. And that's what we recommend our clients to do. Go out there imperfect, even if it's not, the branding's not finished, but you have something mm. you want to say. That's how we did. But then once we got the branding, we were able to put that onto the digital properties and the landing page and the programs, the page on the Facebook group. It, it just is such a nice feeling to have that professional look um, where you feel you know, really proud of the way it looks. You feel it, you feel like it represents the quality of work that you want to put into the world. And so that was an exciting moment. And so, yeah, it, it'll just, it'll just keep, keep being exciting moving forward because we always have that to fall back on. The branding is, you know, done and ready to go for the next steps. Great. Thank you. And uh, be, for Beyond, we created, uh, like you said, uh, lots of uh, visuals um, for uh, different touch points. And of course, there were uh, a, lots, a lot of banners for the web <laughs> and mm -hmm. also cover, uh, cover images for Facebook. And we even did a batch for founding members of your program. Mm -hmm. So do you feel that we have managed to maintain uh, the visual consistency throughout everything? Yeah, sure. I think this is, uh, you know, like Shelia described, branding, beyond branding meant the logo, the colors. Uh, I think this, these are the most important elements, you know, getting clear about the colors and the logo. And then what you did is you put it beautiful into the different shapes, uh, uh, graphics, whatever we needed. So it, it's, it's a recurring theme and we have the colors. So... Mm. Everything else um, is really beautiful too, and it's really nice to to have it. Like Shalia said, you know, when I look on our landing page or the pages that we have, it's always like a feeling of yes, that's that's us. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and. Um, and um, Beyond is a total virtual pro product, and uh, all the touch point that we created uh, were digital. Uh, but we actually did one physical and very real uh, touch point, and you have already shown it <laughs> many times, Sandra. Uh, and what is this used for? I mean, uh, apart from drinking coffee, I can see that you drink coffee from it. But uh, what role does this uh, mug, this coffee mug, have in a total virtual uh, environment like yours? Yeah. So, so I think it's important what, what I noticed over the years, because I, I, I do a lot of work virtually is that people still want to feel connected to you physically. And if you can't be meeting together somewhere like in an offline space, maybe that we will do that next year, probably it's on the agenda for this program. But until then, we wanted to um, send a piece of physicalness home to the people. So show them like, hey, you know, here's something really haptic you can touch and be with us they, they bring it to the calls that we're on on, on every the Thursday calls that we're on um, it just it gives us a feeling of community we all have the same object we all all kind of gather around the ideal and there's also a, a saying on the back of the mug you know that people can look at in the morning to remind them what does it say Sandra I am opening myself up every day more and more for effortless success so it's all oh, great yes yes mm. yes but also serves as a reminder of, of like what are what are we here for what are we going for and, you know lest you forget or lest anyone forget so i think that's the role that it plays mm. and they can have it on their desk so it will always uh, remind them of their be they are being a part of this tribe yeah that's great and um you mentioned before we started uh, here, Sandra, that you are half Swedish. I didn't know that before. <laughs> uh, but um, uh, we are actually three or one can almost say four different uh, nations or languages represented on this call today. Uh, Shailia is, as she has mentioned, an American living and working in Germany for many years. And Sandra is German. Uh, half Swedish. <laughs> so, I have a Swedish passport and a German passport. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I myself, uh, I am a Norwegian. I'm working, living, and working out of Sweden. So, 
uh, it's quite a, a gathering of different uh, nations and languages. So I have a question especially for Sandra about this language issue. Um, uh, so uh, neither you or I are uh, native English uh, speakers, uh, so we have to we had to meet uh, on English ground, so to speak, um, because it's the only language that we have in common. Uh, so have you felt any time during uh, our co-creation of the visuals for Beyond that uh, this has made our communication difficult in any way? No, not at all. I think English, I'm not a native English speaker, you are not a native English speaker, and oh. still uh, it was uh, totally enough to, uh, to, to, so you, you got an impression of what we wanted, you know, and it's beyond words and beyond language and you got that. And, and I think this is what, um, what I'm always looking for in the people I'm working with, especially designers who need to bring across a certain message, it's so much more than words, you know, mm -hmm. it's a special feeling, special energy, and so um, language w wasn't at all a challenge in this whole process. It's, you know, you have the gift that you can really get what the client wants mm. and this is so much more important than um, talking perfectly English. <laughs> <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> yeah and I think I think too you know sometimes people overestimate uh, language in general I mean I think sometimes um, I, I really realized it this last couple of weeks because on a course I'm doing in the US we are supposed to uh, record coaching calls that are taking place in English for our mentor coaches to listen to and uh, so I have to talk German people into doing coachings with me in English <laughs> and it's sometimes funny because when you when you move outside of your own language you, you suddenly um, start thinking a different way your, your neurology starts making new connections you say a word that triggers a creative idea on the other person it actually can be a really enriched experience not to be doing something that you usually do in your same language as you always do it mm -hmm. I think it opens gateways up for new things that weren't there before mm -hmm. and then more creativity um, mm -hmm. so I, you know anybody who's worried about that I think that they shouldn't be worried about it at all no yeah. I don't think that either. I was uh, totally scared first time I spoke with you for that was three years ago or something like that. <laughs> well, I'm a scary person, Hannah, so I can see. How <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's perfectly uh, possible to communicate about these things without speaking perfect English, as Sandra says. Okay, uh, thank you so much, my dears. Uh, it has been a pleasure having you here, and I thank you so much for being here with me today, and I wish you a great success with your Beyond program. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you so Anna. much for all your great work. Like, we can't wait until the next projects come up to get started. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> bye bye.